Today's video is going to be about Arctic Fox in the color Sterling. So to start, I have my swatches labeled 1 through 12. That is not synonymous with hair levels. I will be doing close-ups and, you know, pictures at the end of the video, so those numbers are just to help us keep track of each swatch. Number one is pink, two is gray, three is a natural red, four is black. From four, we have a range that goes up to 11, which is a natural blonde, and then number 12 is supposed to be like a toned version of number 11. These swatches are human hair, but they are not virgin hair, except the number four black swatch. The rest have been chemically treated previously. So I'm gonna start by putting the dye directly from the container at the top of each swatch. Some people do like to dilute their dyes, so I'll be doing a diluted version at the bottom of each swatch, and I'll let you know the measurement for that once we get there. Please keep in mind, everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take dye differently. So please just use my video as a reference as to what it could possibly look like on your hair. It's always a good idea to do as much research as possible. For the diluted section, we're going to be doing equal parts. So that's going to be one part of sterling to one part diluter. If you don't know what diluter is, the short answer is that it helps basically lighten the color of the dye. And if you're wondering, I always just use a plain white conditioner when I'm diluting. So I'm probably going to let these sit for about three hours. Once I rinse them out and they're dry, I will meet you back here and we can do some comparisons. Okay, so you might notice that some of these look a little bit patchy. I don't know if that's me or not <laughs> because this week I decided to try something new for my Patreon where I just like talk about stuff, but I didn't really have a good topic for this week. So I was like trying to brainstorm and like ramble as I was applying the dye, not really paying attention to how I was applying it, but looking at my other silver dyes that I've done, they also have a slightly kind of like patchy look, so it could just be how silver dyes apply. I don't really know. I'm sorry though if it was me. So I would say this isn't a super light gray, but it's not that dark either. It's kind of like in the middle as for like how gray dyes go, because to me the number two gray swatch was a lighter gray, and as you can see, the direct eye portion darkened up a little bit. In my personal opinion, whenever I've done like grays on my hair, I always found it better to tone my hair first and then put the gray on top because 
sometimes some of the blonde pieces won't be quite light enough and won't take the gray as well as the lighter pieces so then my hair would look like gray and blonde at the same time and it I didn't really like how that looked and not that that necessarily happened on the number 11 platinum blonde swatch but to me the number 12 swatch that was toned first definitely looks a lot more smooth and consistent like it took the dye a little bit better on both the diluted and the direct dye portion sorry i just itched myself like sorry if that looks gross but because the hair was toned it does darken up the look of the gray as well so that is a downside if you do like lighter grays I personally think it looks the best on the number 2, 11, and 12 swatch. It did take pretty well on the number 10, but again, I think that's a little bit risky based off of my own experience with doing gray over blonde. And then for 5 through 9, it's kind of hard to tell if I see a difference. I mean, definitely number 9 and 8, they do look a lot more muted. I think I won't be able to tell until we do the before and after clips for 5, 6, and 7, but there's a chance that they do look a little bit more toned out and muted as well. So for comparisons. The first one I wanted to do was from Ion in the color Titanium. And I quickly want to mention with Ion, um, I originally started doing them because their brand, I'm pretty sure, claims that they don't test their product on animals. But I found an article a couple months ago about how they won't even print that on their boxes because they don't want to because they don't want to go through the process of figuring out if their ingredients are tested on animals too. So I felt more comfortable just not doing them anymore, but I didn't take the videos off my channel because they're kind of in that weird gray area. So at the very least, if you want to just see what the titanium looks like in comparison, I still wanted to show them. This is comparable to number 12. This is comparable to number 11. And this is comparable to number 10. So I've had my channel for probably like almost two years now. I think it'll be two years in January. The titanium dye for Ion, I believe, is one of the first few that I did do. So I don't feel totally confident saying that this is how the titanium dye would look if I were to redo the video now after having a little bit more experience. But on my swatches, especially on the more blondy swatches, it did turn out really light and didn't really take that well. On the toned swatch, the number 10, it turned out really good. But also, I think when I'm referring to like when I did silver in my hair, I'm pretty sure this is the dye that I used. And I do feel like number nine is kind of what my hair looked like where I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like gray, but there is like a slight blondy tone. Whereas the toned one, in my opinion, just looks a little better, more intentional. So that could be why I personally am afraid to put silver over blonde hair. Because if you look at the Arctic Fox one, it definitely uh, doesn't have that weird kind of like could be blonde, could be gray look the way that the titanium does. But I'm also not trying to crap all over <laughs> Ion either. It's just my experience, I guess. Uh, because this is more of like a mid-tone gray and not super light, you can actually dilute it to make it a little bit lighter too. So that's the upside to darker dyes personally. And I will say the sterling on the diluted section still looks even a little bit more smooth and consistent than the titanium dye did. <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to talk badly about Ion, but now that I've seen the titanium, I do feel a little bit more confident saying that putting the sterling over blonde hair is okay. Um, but the next comparison I wanted to do is from Lime Crime in the color Charcoal. This is comparable to number 12, number 11 number 10, and number 9. So Lime Crime actually has two grayish silver dyes. The other one is called Gargoyle. So on my swatches, they actually turned out kind of similar, the Gargoyle and the Charcoal. The only difference to me was the undertone. So this is Gargoyle in comparison to the number 11 swatch for Arctic Fox. So I'm having a hard time kind of identifying what the undertones are between the charcoal and the gargoyle. So to me, it looks like the gargoyle is a little bit more pigmented because on the diluted section, it still looks gray, whereas the diluted section for charcoal doesn't look as gray. But to me, the charcoal looks like slightly more blue undertoned and gargoyle looks slightly more green undertoned, but 
I don't know if I'm just seeing things, especially with that blonde underneath, doesn't really help. But either way, these two both, in comparison to the Arctic Fox Sterling, don't look quite as neutral. The Sterling looks like a very true gray to me. So for now, that's gonna be it for comparisons. Now I'd like to get into the close-ups or in other words, the before and after. I do use natural lighting for everything past this point, the close-ups and the pictures at the end, but do keep in mind, trying to get the exact same environment with natural lighting can be very difficult. So if anything looks slightly different, that's probably why. I really, really hope this video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do dyes that are not tested on animals. I will have my swatches linked below if you're interested in buying, you know. Thank you so much to my patrons and thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video.